Today I'm doing an uh, overview of my, my top five KJV Bibles and the features that I like in each one of those Bibles. And then I think why this might be a great addition here if you're interested. And get one if you can get a copy on some of them, especially ones by R.A.L. They make those on limited production when they do release those there. So I uh, got the R.A. Allen Bible specifically from the manufacturer itself over in England. So we're just starting my, my, I would say number one would be my R.L. Allen Beaver Clean Clarion Wide Margin Bible here. I picked up this Bible back in 2017. So this is a, it is a big Bible here. This one here is in the blue goat skin. It does have three, three blue ribbons in this particular Bob here. And you can see, you may can see I've had a, had a spill of something on it some years back. So, but what I like about this Bible is it has the ample space where you can put notes in it. Holds up well on the highlighting, center column references. So what I done when I was using this Bible, extensively as my primary Bible, I actually would go through it, and then the archaic words, what I would do in those cases, that was right out the meaning of that in that wide margin there. So it is a perfect Bible. It holds up well for highlighting and also writing notes in here. So I can show you back in Genesis here. So like I said, I've done, I didn't mark, Completed through the whole Bible, but a lot of the text in here. This is Genesis here. So the first five books in that done extensive. The uh, Proverbs, Psalms, those are Mark since and Isaiah and Jeremiah. So this is a great Bible here for taking notes here. So that is a, one of the best benefits of this Bible here, where you can go through, do your own study, and what God reveal you while you're going through studying the insights you're learning. You can put it down to your notes where you can actually go back and then see what you learn. And then, you know, it's a great benefit there in this particular one here. And my number two Bible, which is a R.L. Allen here, this is a R.L. Allen Long Primer. This is a 63. So this one here is, does have, this is black here, so it does have three blue ribbons on this one here. So this one here is a nice Bible, and this has the full yap on this particular one here. And I picked this up, this I think somewhere, I'm going to say around 2019, if I believe. And when it came available, I found it on the website, and I just went in and pulled the trigger on it. And a couple of days later, they had sold out of this particular Bible here. But this is a great Bible here where you can actually, it does have smaller margins, but you can actually get some notes in here. And the print is, don't have, uh, didn't write down the font of this here. It's, it's in my review I done, but it is a good size font, easy to read, bold text here. Paper in this Bible is great. So this Bible would benefit anybody that's especially a fan of the King James, if that's your primary. Highly recommend picking up one like this here. It is very pliable. So this is a great Bible here. And it does have... In the back, some nice color maps in this particular Bible here. And it does have a good concordance in the back here. So that is a good feature of that Bible there. So that is my number two Bible. My number three would be, uh, this is the older version of the uh, Kirk, uh, that is the Kirkbridge Thompson Chain Bible. This is Thompson Chain Bible here. And this Bible here, I remember when I picked this up, I picked this up some years back at Christian Books when they were still in business. And actually what had happened was someone had asked me about the Thompson chain and I gave them my Thompson chain. So, and then I kind of like missed that Bible. So I went back and then I got this version here, the large print here. So, And so that is like inside the Thompson Chain Bible. And the benefits of the Thompson Chain, it has twofold benefits here. It has chain references, and then it's got this number here. And the person I gave the Bible to, and then I had to go back and went by and saw them and explain. They didn't know how to actually, they didn't read the front of it, how to use the chain references and what those numbers meant. So what those numbers do, if you look up any number here associated with the text, 
you go to the back of the Bible and you can look up that particular number on that particular subject that you can find in the back of the Bible. So what the Thompson chain does, it allows you to actually, uh, what you can do is let scripture interpret scripture because you're seeing what scripture is not a study Bible before. It's like notes, for example, telling you what the meaning. It lets you see the truth from looking at the text what the text is doing. So I think that is a valuable tool to always look at the text initially at first before you resort to commentaries or study Bibles. Because study Bibles, sometimes people have a tendency to put their notes in the study Bible in high regard than the scripture because they're so focused on someone telling them. So you need to get a good established meaning and you can go back with a study Bible or commentary and make sure what you're getting is correct because it's better when you get the truth on your own rather than secondhand information with someone else. That's not to say there's anything wrong with that there, but once you get the truth yourself, there's nothing like understanding the word of God for yourself. And God wants to reveal himself through his scripture to you initially. And then you can use other tools like that there, like the Thompson chain. So this is the TBS Bible here. And... Not mistaken here, it is a it is a leather a leather cover here. And what I like about this Bible here is the extensive cross references. It has more cross references than your average Bible here. Now this is a big wide Bible, so it is a little bit on the heavy side, but this is a great Bible here. I do love large print Bibles. I prefer them on regular pen. Sometimes I would still use regular pen, but I love large pen Bibles. They're easy to read because if the Bible is easy to read, you'll spend more time in it. If the, if the font, the print is tiny, you're not going to spend very, very much time in that there. So this one here does have in the very back. Now the smaller version does have a concordance. This one here does not come with a concordance here. It's got the table of weights and measurements in the back of that there. And it does, and what it does also, it does a good job of explaining a lot of the archaic words that's in the King James Bible. So that if the King James Bible is your primary type translation, I think would benefit you a great deal when you can get a get an explanation of knowing what some of those cake words mean. Because a lot of times with uh, people that utilize the King James only and they don't really invest in the tools and they may not understand and they just read past the words they don't understand or they'll read into it that what they think it may mean and then some words don't mean exactly what you think it may read even though it may be clear English like the uh, the word like you know when it says in, in the King James for example when it talks about conversation and some people I heard someone preaching on that one time and they was talking about people cursing and that was not what that text was all about when it was used in that word conversation and that particular word on that particular text was talking about how you live so that's where it's always good to get a good the good right understanding of what words mean and what they're saying so you can get a good grasp on what God is saying in the text of his word and my last of not least would be uh, this would be the uh, AMG. This is the Keyword Study Bible here. Now, this is the goatskin edition here. It's not like Aria Allen, but this is a very nice Bible here. And then what the, uh, this particular Bible does there, it's got keywords. So the keywords have associated number where you can look up the Strong's number. And it's got a dictionary associated with each of those words in the very back there. So I just is kind of like... Here is a layout of how that works there and how to use the keyword study Bible. So it's like this, this word here. So if you look up the word power, so this is talking about in Acts chapter 7. If you look up the word power, you go to 1849 in the back. So you go to 18, uh, the New Testament, 1849.
And I'll just kind of show you that right quick there on this is 1849. Eighteen forty nine. Now that word there, uh, the Holy Spirit will give you power. So that's power to witness, to proclaim. So that meaning there in the Greek is uh, force, capacity, freedom, mastery, concentrated, superhuman authority. You know, so it gives different gloss over meanings of what that word, that actually word power means there. So that is the benefit of the key word study Bible. It doesn't cover every word. Sometimes you get the word and say, I wish it was a number associated with that there. But it does cover a lot of the words, you know, that, that you will find. So it'll give you a good understanding. So each one of these will help you understand the text for itself. And that's why I just used about top five King James Bibles. Not per se study Bibles. I didn't mention study Bibles where it's actually where it's telling you meaning. This one here does have limited notes in here, but the primary for this here Bible is the keyword. So basically, so you can see what different words mean and get a good grasp on the text. So and so if you're interested in watching an extensive review on any of these Bibles here, I've done a review on every one of these Bibles. So you can find that if you just search through my videos and you can get an in-depth review on each one of those particular Bibles. So I appreciate for everyone that stuck around to the end of this video. I appreciate all my subscribers. Appreciate all the people that leave likes and comments. I greatly appreciate that there. So if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. And I, you know, I generally put out context, content out every week or two. And so I got some more things that I want to be bringing forth here in the next week or two that I think that will be a blessing to people that are serious students of the Bible. So may you have a blessed day in the Lord.